let's get started here. So I got a recording, and uh, so I, this is uh, this is our first Enough Financial <laughs> podcast, and uh, we're doing a little different today uh, because we we're doing an interview, and uh, we're also going to co- record it so we have video. And so uh, I want to introduce, uh, of course, I'm first Ryan first and off first and off Financial, but this is uh, Chuck and Betty Badley. And uh, they are a longtime clients uh, of us here at the firm. And uh, we just invited them in today to do something a little different. And really, we've, we, we do a good job of helping all of you with your investments and your financial planning uh, and your retirement planning. But, you know, we're not the one that actually lives the retirement. And so we kind of find and wanted to find out, Chuck and Betty, how, how you do retirement. And so, um, you know, welcome. I, is there anything you want to start with to, to, to start off? I have a bunch of questions to ask. Just we're glad to be here, glad to be part of it. And I hope anything we have to say, some people may find some value in it, either to do it or not to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, the That's right. Yeah. You can give us the pitfalls and the good things. So, okay. Um, all right. So tell me, look, what, what did you both do before you retired? Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I am a, a musician. Uh, I taught piano for years. I was never really employed by a, a company, uh, but I taught uh, piano and, and got involved in voice and, and accompanying children at school. And that's been my, a, a lot of volunteer work has been mainly uh, what I did have done all my life. So to say that I went into retirement, I really didn't. I just kept growing uh, through the years and and picked up different things as I came along. One of the things that I picked up later in life, well, which was 20 years ago, uh, I started an exercise class for um, senior women, which then turned out to be co-ed. And uh, last March, when we had to close down, I had 115 people on my class list. So we were having, we we, we were using music, dancing to it, exercising. And that's, so that's where my life has been and raising three wonderful children. Yeah, so that's, that's been kind of your, your focus as as the kids, you know, obviously, you know, that was your, your job, I guess, really. and, uh, you know, and, and that's kind of neat with the, the music because something you were doing before you were more of the re- retired time frame, you were, you're still doing that today, right? You carry that through. Yeah. yeah. yeah she's yeah. more active than I am. Two, two <laughs> points there, right? The average age of this group is almost 80. And she's been doing this for 20 years and it's all volunteer from her. They don't, nobody has to see anything, but a couple of times a year, she takes up a collection and gives it to the church where she does her, her classes. Nice. So it's, it's just a passion. Yeah. So Chuck, I've what did you- lucky. I've been lucky to be able to do it that way. Yeah. Ryan and helping with our finances. <laughs> well, you're, you're welcome. I just wish COVID would have worked out better that you could have kept things in person. So hopefully you can get back to that. Oh sooner, yeah, they're, they're chomping at the bit. I've been hearing, People have been uh, sending me emails as they get their vaccination. Are we ready to go now? Are we ready to go? Good. It'll be, it'll be come back. Good. All right. So, Chuck, what, now what did you do pre-retirement? Okay. Well, I was in the food industry for almost 45 years. Um, my background was in chemistry. And when I got out of my, I was an officer in the Navy right out of college. And when I was getting ready to go private, I said, I'm not going to work for a chemical company. And I started interviewing with food companies. And over my career, I spent 15 years with General Foods in Battle Creek, Michigan, and KQ, Illinois, and back in Battle Creek. Then I spent about 13 years with Burger King Corporation in Miami. And then I, I actually did some of my own consulting for about three years. And in 1998, Con, uh, ConAgra contacted me and asked me to come for an interview and I came and I was there until uh, 2011 and I woke up one morning about a week before my birthday and I turned over to Betty and I said why am I still working I'm 67 years old I'm getting tired of it and so I went in and gave my boss two weeks notice nice I didn't I didn't remember that that's how that went down exactly but 
Yeah, and I retired the first part of October of that year. And then he asked, Al asked me if I wanted to consult. And I said, you obviously don't get it. <laughs> I'm retiring. And, and Ryan, that's where he met you, wasn't it? That's how yeah. we ever found you in the first place. Yeah, Chuck and I met at, uh, at ConAgra. So that's kind of the other backstory, I guess. In fact, I worked for, for Chuck as a chemical engineer at ConAgra. I was the chemical engineer in his department. Um, and now I'm still working for Chuck, uh, just in a different <laughs> capacity. So uh, I'm getting a lot more out of it now. <laughs> yeah. I hope I still did a good job while I was at ConAg. But, uh, it's a little yeah. more personal now. So, yeah. so uh, OK, so how long have you been retired now? Since uh, 2011. This, this okay, that's, yeah, 10, year, 10 years already. Yep. OK. Oh, my uh, goodness. <laughs> So Betty's been kind of pursuing her passions that she had. What what have you been doing, Chuck? Uh, well, I, I, I love outdoors. Well, for a long time, I would go out and run a lot. I was a runner. Now that I'm 76, I'm kind of slowing down and I do walk. But I do a lot of gardening, a lot of outdoor stuff. Sometimes I do a little uh, furniture refinishing and just odd jobs around there. Any exercise with Betty? And I do it. I go to the exercise classes with Betty. Uh, but okay. My that's when somebody says, what do you do every day? I say, whatever I want. <laughs> whatever you want. All right. Nice. Nice. Um, and so a big part of your life, I know, is, is your is your family. So yeah. tell me about the things you do with your family, what that looks like. First of all, there are 21 of us through four generations. We have three children. We have nine grandchildren. And we have three great-grandchildren. And, and spouses. Yeah. And they're in their spouses. Two spouses for those. And one of our main goals every year is a family vacation. We've been doing it for years and years. And that's a huge priority because family is our number one priority. Well, and, and because your family's spread out, right? There, you know, you have some there in Omaha, some in Ohio, and some down in Georgia, right? Yeah, and then some out in Colorado now. One of our grandsons. Okay, some of the okay. So it's not like you can just drive across town and say and uh, have have supper together with everybody. Well, thank God for Zooming because now we pretty much Zoom every Sunday afternoon with as many people in the family as we can get together. For so that's been kind of a blessing. All this technology that has happened through the COVID has has helped you absolutely, out. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen we haven't been on a vacation with them in over a year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're planning to go back this this summer, right? Uh, yeah, we, we, we've we've moved from Florida to the uh, Lake of the Ozarks because it's more centralized, and we vacation. found a, found a real nice place there for everybody. And uh, this year will be our second year because we had to skip last year. But. Okay, nice, nice. So, what has been your favorite part of retirement, e either of you? You want to answer? Well, that? as I say. I, I, my life just continued to uh, sort of stay where it was. I wasn't making any major changes. The major, major change was having him around 24 hours a day. Yeah. Uh, and so I, how, that's different. So I, how, did that, how did that go? Well, uh, uh, one thing we have, ha have found out is uh, that he, because he loves to cook so much, uh, we have to sort of register, put our name on a list and make reservations to get into the kitchen. I'll be in the kitchen this morning. You cannot come in. Okay. But, uh, but it's fun to have him here. We've done a lot of projects together with the, in the yard. We, it's, it's, it's fun to have him here for the most part. Well, nice. and before, before the uh, COVID came in, we, we did a lot of socializing because we both love to cook. And we've got a real good group of friends that we entertain with very frequently. In fact, pretty much every year, a group of us goes down to Costa Rica for a week, just a bunch of couples. Again, last year, we didn't get to do that because sure. of the, uh, the COVID, but we are, we are scheduling to go back this late September, early October with about 13 or 14 of us. Okay. So, and so your retirement's kind of been doing family things, a uh, little bit of travel and uh, being at home together. Is that kind of, summarize it maybe yeah okay. well and we're pretty active at church we're on cool. committee yeah there. So. in fact that's been the way our life has been all the way through charles has had really good friends through work 
but our main connection, particularly with when the kids were around, was with people at the church. Uh, so a lot of our activities have, have been things, mission trips and uh, th things like that, um, mission work, uh, that is, that's important to us. I've always sung in the choir at church, uh, and I've directed junior choirs at church. So all of those things uh, have, have been wonderful connections for us. So, so it sounds like, you know, a lot of what you did prior to retiring, it just, it carries through, right? You don't, retirement isn't just, okay, you change and you have a new life all of a sudden, right? You still have your same passions and interests. Um, you're just able to do them maybe differently or more often because you're not going to a, you know, a, a job every day from eight to five. Is that, is that fair to say? Pretty much. Pretty That's much. right on. And we have a lot more time to do the things we really enjoy. Sure. Okay. Not that so what, I didn't enjoy work. But. <laughs> hey, enjoy hey. work. So, okay. So what, what do you not like about retirement? Is there anything you don't like? Not for me. Not a thing. I can't, I can't think of anything. No, getting older is, is a little different. Yeah. To. We get, we're a little more limited in what we can do. Yeah. In fact, uh, three years ago, we went on a, a river cruise and the travel now, I'm wondering if we'll ever do anything where we'll get all the way to Europe again. That's, that's just really hard on us. But uh, we we had a lot of time. We were over there several times uh, before we got older and through the years. Uh, I feel like we're not, there's nothing that we're really missing. I'd still like to go on an Alaskan cruise, but that's that will be closer than having to fly across the pond to Europe. Sure. So well, would you say so? If, so if somebody's watching this and they're thinking, "Hey, travel is something I want to do more of," you it sounds like you'd recommend them doing that. You know, the sooner the beginning years of their retirement and not yeah. waiting, not yeah, waiting. Particularly if you're going. I mean, like right now, we go to Costa Rica because it's like. You know, we're there in like four hours rather than sure. to Europe, which it's like you leave one afternoon, you get there the next, the next day sometime. So it's, it's just a lot more convenient. Okay. Okay. First time uh, we went to Costa Rica, we were zip lining. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we take the sunset cruise. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you take there. You, so it just changes. You're still there. It's just changing. Right? Yeah. 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 So, so did you, do you think you, uh, so Chuck, do you think you retired at the right time in your life or was it too late? You know, you, you know what do you think? Uh, I, I, it was the right time because, I mean, I enjoyed the whole time I was working. It was just that, as, as you may or may not know, businesses now, everything's getting a lot more politics involved. And I was, I had just, I, it, when I turned 67, I said, I really don't need to do that. I enjoy the people I work with and stuff. But just uh, every big corporation has politics in it. And I just said, I don't need that. It was just time to take that and put it aside and not have, not have to deal with going into work every day. So you, so you kind of knew, you know, so, so going into it, you didn't know when the retirement was. But when you got to that point, you knew that that was the point that you were ready to retire. Oh, yeah. I told you. I woke up that morning and I turned yeah. the radio why am I working? I don't need to work. Yeah. And so I said, I'm going in and tell Al that I'm retiring. Yeah. So it's okay not to know because when you, you know, when you, you will know when the time is right. And me, it, absolutely. Yeah. And I think, and I think that because as we visit with our clients that are approaching or even a client that's, you know, 45 years old says, I don't know, I don't know when I want to retire. And so they might not know exactly. And that's, that's okay. You know, I think in our culture, like, oh, when are you going to retire when you retire? But that's, you know, some people might never retire. They love doing what they do, do. And they, you know, if they get paid to do it, they'll do it for a long time. But other people, when they get to that point, like you, Chuck, they'll be like, you know, here's the switch, you know, I'm done or I'm done now or in a month or in a year, I know when the time is. We were prepared to retire. We didn't have to worry about, you know, well, where, where's our income going to come from and all that. So I, I think the I would say to people is plan now so that when you get to the point when it comes, you're ready to retire, you've got the opportunity and you don't have the issues 
to going into retirement. Yeah, because, and that's, you know, yeah, that's right, because we didn't start your planning uh, in 2011 the, the, when you decided to retire. We started years before that saying, okay, what if you would retire at, you know, whatever age we were looking at yeah. and what would it look like? Would it work? Would we run out of money? Would we be financially okay? What do we need to adjust to get there? And so, yeah, we started that years before. And I know we shifted the retirement date as you said, no, I'm, I'm okay for a little while longer, you know, but we started that, that core planning ahead of time. So we knew, Hey, when you're ready to go, it's we're ready. And, and the other thing for us is I had three different careers and I ended up with four uh, pensions. I had two from ConAgra and one from each of the other companies I worked with. So yeah. you know, spread out over three companies, not 45 years over one company, but it all worked out. We've been going here a little bit. You know, I didn't want to take too long. What, what uh, if you could give one piece of advice uh, to somebody that is either going to be retiring soon or maybe has recently retired, what, what would you tell them? You have to handle that. Okay. Well, for me, I, I think I, I would say make sure that as you get into retirement, you've got all the things that are very important to you known and prioritized so that you can go with all of your time, do the things you want to do. For us, it's family, it's friends, it's church, and those are the main three things. And most of our life is focused around those, those three things. Okay. And, uh, and we knew that, you know, when we were retirement, yeah, we knew what we were going to be doing. You know, I think that's good. I think, you know, I thank you for sharing, uh, you know, a little bit about yourselves personally you know, and, and what you've been doing in retirement. And uh, so we're going to share this on our podcast, like I said, uh, and on our YouTube channel. And uh, so we want others just to, to, you know, to maybe learn a little bit from it and maybe help them think of, you know, what their future might look like and then maybe help and you know get back to us and ask us more questions on how they can do do things like you've done them so um, well, we look forward to hearing what what the other retirees are, are going to say too so we don't have all the answers <laughs> all right all right uh one thing I, I i guess i could add here is uh one of the th things that that now that chuck is here that we can do together uh things pro projects that we can do around the house but some of the, the we have found a, a, a organization called Great Courses, and we have ordered several. Uh, we've ordered what, something on Roman history from there. I have have, have a study group going that we've got, we've I bet we've done twenty five courses from Great Courses. What we're doing right now is we're taking Spanish together on Great Courses, so it keeps our minds going too. Uh, and, and we, we realize that we need to do that. Uh, okay. it's, it's part, you, it's, you not only stay okay. physically active, you, you have to keep your mind. Keep your mind too. going. Yeah. So great, great courses is what it's called. Yeah. Um, and they cover the spectrum of everything. If you can just go online and see it, if anybody wants to talk to me about them, they really are good courses. We, I might add here too, this Spanish course that we're taking is from, our alma mater, the University of Alabama. And the fella does speak Spanish without an Alabama accent. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been fun. <laughs> oh, good, good. Well, um, great. Uh, anything else you wanna add before we wrap up? Well, just thank, thanks for having us and having the, the courage to put us on and somebody <laughs> to talk to. Yeah, well, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. and. Uh, you know, maybe we'll come up with another subject and have you on again sometime. Oh, oh wonderful. <laughs> okay. we, we'll always have an answer for you. <laughs> an <All right>. opinion. <laughs> right. Thank you, everybody. Ryan. And you all stay safe, okay? All right. We'll talk to you soon then. You bet. Thanks so much. All bye right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.